ability to show what models can look like in the future from an adaptive reuse standpoint. And so connectivity um, can employees, I guess through security, walk into the mall, go to the food court, things like that, or is there certain limitations of how they actually go into the mall? So there are certain limitations from a security and safety standpoint, but we do provide our employees accessibility to the mall. Uh, and they frequent that on a daily basis. And what you're finding is that employees from a well-being perspective are, you know, out in the mall walking, they're out in the mall eating, they're out in the mall shopping, whereas in the past employees were a little reluctant to take breaks because they were enthralled in their work. Now they're actually getting out and taking a break from the work which they need to. And operating hours are what here? So operating hours, um, and I don't want to get too much into detail from a security and safety standpoint. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't let too, too much of your goods out. But long story short is, is we have security on site from 7.30 in the morning until 7.30 at night. And so our hours of operations uh, can go anywhere between 8 o'clock in the morning until 7 o'clock at night. Okay. Is that every day? Just business every, day? Uh, every Monday through Friday. Monday Friday. And okay. then we are open on Saturdays. And Saturdays uh, are our contact center. And those hours, I want to say, is between 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock. So obviously there's been challenges with malls in general, and Haynes Mall being one of them, in terms of how to keep the, the facilities secure and safe. So how are y'all managing that with your employees? So when we you know, first took on the space, I mean, obviously, you know, there was some concern over security and safety, you know, from our employees. And so we made that a number one priority to where our employees felt safe uh, and secure when they actually came into the building, uh, you know, upon entry, uh, while they're working here and departure. And so uh, we actually, uh, you know, secured all of our uh, entry points and exit you know, points with alarms and they're alarmed 24 seven. We limited the number uh, of access points for our employees and uh, they're expected to use uh, those entrances uh, and exits only. And if they don't, they're gonna set off an alarm. And if someone tries to enter from those points, they're gonna set off an alarm. Uh, we also hired, uh, you can come on in. No, you're fine, no, you're good. Is, you know, we actually hired an uh, armed guard service. Uh, and you'll see you know, they're taken here uh, during operational hours. And so they arrive before our employees arrive, and they stay until all of our employees leave. Okay. Uh, and um, you, know, um, you know, some of the other things you know that we did is is uh, Kevlar panels. Uh, you know, as far as entry into the mall, you know, we actually put in Kevlar panels, okay. uh, and uh, that provided a sense of security and safety for our employees as well. Kevlar, you know, panels you know, are actually. Uh, bullet resistant material and so if there are you know if there is some gunfire that's inside the mall uh, our walls will you know uh, sustain that so I guess in the overall scheme of things is that giving your employees peace of mind about working here hundred percent and so they did have some concern and and rightfully so uh, is there's been a number of incidents that's happened at the mall there's been several shootings that's happened uh, inside of the mall um, you know, most of it has been in mall activity, you know, not necessarily inside of the parking lot it, 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 it itself. Uh, but we want our employees to feel safe and secure coming to work uh, if they're right to feel safe and secure as an employee.